what we see in Central Asia is that the old quarrels, difficulties, conflicts between the Central Asian states, well, have not disappeared, but have somewhat vanished. Uh, so, for instance, the old conflict between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan has uh, become less important and uh, has uh, paved the way uh, to uh, much better cooperation these days. So Central Asia becomes more and more a common market with common ideas uh, and a very important factor between China and Russia and the West and especially Kazakhstan plays a very important role here uh, in, with its multi-vectoral policies that uh, uh, well try to, to bring peace and stability into the region. And we should take note and support and encourage the initiatives coming from Kazakhstan towards Syria, uh, towards uh, Ukraine, to uh, help finding solutions, diplomatic solutions, overcome sanctions regimes, um, and bring more peace and stability uh, into the region. That is wished very strongly in Astana, but I think it meets very much the aims of the European Union and we should uh, encourage President Nazarbayev to continue with its effort, which he started when he was host of the OSCE meeting a, a few years ago and which he continues right now. And it could uh, work out to the benefit uh, of all of us. Well, I, I think the European Union should uh, perhaps formulate a common and much stronger answer to the One Belt, One Road initiative uh, coming from China. Um, they should not just let things happen between China and the Central Asian states, uh, but do more, because the Chinese have invited us to look much closer to it, and not only look to railroads or uh, streets, and, uh, but also to the development of the grid uh, and to energy projects. So a uh, joint and new and stronger initiative by all of us in the European Union towards Central Asia, uh, I think is, is, uh, is a good idea.